China uses a staggering 60% of the world's semiconductors. This massive consumption underscores the country's dependence on these tiny yet powerful components that drive its vast array of industries. Yet it produces only 16%. This disparity highlights a significant gap in China's technological capabilities and its reliance on foreign semiconductor manufacturers. This stark contrast reveals a crucial vulnerability at the heart of the global technology landscape. The imbalance between consumption and production makes China susceptible to supply chain disruptions and geopolitical tensions. China's ambition to close this gap is not just an economic aspiration, it is a strategic move to secure its technological future and reduce dependency on other nations. It represents a seismic shift in geopolitics with the potential to reshape the world order. As China strives to become a leader in semiconductor technology, the global balance of power could be significantly altered. The semiconductor, a tiny chip powering everything from smartphones to fighter jets, has become the defining technology of the 21st century. Its importance cannot be overstated, as it is integral to both civilian and military applications. Control over its production translates directly into economic and military power. Nations that dominate semiconductor manufacturing hold the keys to technological advancement and strategic superiority. China's ambition to become self-sufficient in semiconductors, outlined in its Made in China 2025 plan, is a bold declaration of its intention to lead the future. This initiative aims to elevate China to the forefront of global technology. This ambition has sent shockwaves through the global tech industry and beyond. The ripple effects are being felt across markets as companies and governments reassess their strategies in response to China's aggressive push. Governments and businesses alike are grappling with the implications of a world where China is no longer reliant on foreign suppliers for this critical technology. The shift could lead to a reconfiguration of global supply chains and economic alliances. The stakes are high and the outcome will determine the balance of power for decades to come. The race for semiconductor supremacy is not just about technology, it's about shaping the future of global influence and control. The semiconductor industry is no stranger to fierce competition. This sector, often considered the backbone of modern technology, is where the world's leading tech giants clash. For decades, the United States has reigned supreme, with Silicon Valley serving as the epicenter of innovation. This region has been the birthplace of groundbreaking technologies and home to some of the most influential companies in the world. Companies like Intel, Qualcomm and Nvidia have dominated the global market, supplying chips to power the world's most advanced devices. These firms have set the standard for performance and reliability, becoming household names in the process. However, China's rise as a tech powerhouse represents a formidable challenge to this established order. The rapid development of China's tech industry has shifted the global balance of power. Chinese companies like Huawei and Smike have made significant strides in recent years, developing advanced chip design capabilities and manufacturing processes. Their progress has been nothing short of remarkable, positioning them as serious contenders in the global market. The Chinese government has poured billions of dollars into supporting its domestic semiconductor industry, providing subsidies, tax breaks and other incentives to foster its growth. This state-backed support has accelerated their technological advancements. This state-backed effort has raised concerns in the West, with accusations of unfair competition and intellectual property theft. Critics argue that these practices give Chinese companies an unfair advantage in the global marketplace. The United States in particular has taken aggressive measures to curb China's technological rise, imposing export controls on critical chip-making equipment and blacklisting Chinese companies from accessing American technology. These actions reflect the high stakes of this tech rivalry, as both nations vie for dominance in the semiconductor industry. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos for more updated and exciting content. Let's continue. One major obstacle is the complexity of the chip making process. Manufacturing these tiny devices requires state of the art facilities, specialized equipment and a highly skilled workforce. Building a self-sufficient semiconductor industry from scratch is a daunting task, requiring years of investment and technological development. Moreover, the global semiconductor supply chain is highly interconnected and reliant on collaboration. China's efforts to achieve self-sufficiency could disrupt this delicate ecosystem, leading to shortages and price hikes. The COVID-19 pandemic exposed the fragility of global supply chains, highlighting the risks of over-reliance on any single country for critical components. Undeterred by these challenges, China is doubling down on its ambition to become a global semiconductor powerhouse. 
The country is not just aiming to be a participant in the global semiconductor market, it wants to be a leader, setting the pace for technological advancements worldwide. The government has pledged to invest over $1.4 trillion in its domestic chip industry over the next decade, a staggering sum that underscores its commitment to achieving technological independence. This massive investment is a clear signal to the world that China is serious about its technological future. This investment is not just about catching up with the West, it's about surpassing current leaders and setting new standards in the semiconductor industry. China sees semiconductors as a strategic imperative essential for its economic growth, national security and global influence. The ability to produce advanced semiconductors domestically is seen as a cornerstone of national strength and a key to future prosperity. The country aims to become a leader in emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, 5G wireless networks and quantum computing, all of which rely heavily on advanced semiconductors. These technologies are expected to drive the next wave of innovation and economic growth. To achieve its goals, China is pursuing a multi-pronged strategy. This includes not only financial investments, but also policy support and international collaborations. It is investing heavily in research and development, creating state-of-the-art labs and facilities to push the boundaries of what is possible in semiconductor technology. Attracting top talent from around the world is another crucial element. China is offering competitive packages and opportunities to skilled professionals in the semiconductor field, making it an attractive destination for global talent. Additionally, China is building new chip fabrication plants equipped with the latest technology. These facilities are designed to produce the most advanced chips, ensuring that China remains at the cutting edge of semiconductor manufacturing. The government is also providing strong support to domestic companies, fostering a competitive environment that encourages innovation. This support includes subsidies, tax incentives and other measures designed to help Chinese firms compete on the global stage. The significance of China's semiconductor ambitions was thrown into sharp relief in 2020 when the Trump administration imposed sanctions on Huawei, China's tech giant. These sanctions restricted Huawei's access to American technology, including crucial chip supplies, dealing a major blow to the company's smartphone and 5G businesses. The Huawei case served as a wake-up call for China, highlighting the country's vulnerability to foreign pressure points in the global tech supply chain. It also underscored the geopolitical dimensions of the semiconductor industry, demonstrating how technology could be used as a tool of economic and political leverage. In response to the sanctions, China redoubled its efforts to achieve semiconductor self-sufficiency. The government announced plans to accelerate the development of its domestic chip industry, setting ambitious targets for production capacity and technological advancement. The Huawei incident marked a turning point, solidifying China's determination to control its technological destiny. The implications of China's semiconductor ambitions extend far beyond its borders. The global economy is increasingly reliant on technology, and semiconductors are the fundamental building blocks of the digital age. China's rise as a major player in this industry will have profound consequences for businesses, governments and individuals worldwide. One potential outcome is a bifurcation of the global technology landscape. As China develops its own semiconductor industry, it may become less reliant on Western companies, leading to the emergence of two separate tech ecosystems, each with its own standards, supply chains and geopolitical allegiances. This fragmentation could have significant implications for innovation and competition. On the one hand, it could lead to a slowdown in technological progress as collaboration and knowledge sharing are hampered. On the other hand, it could also spur innovation as companies in both ecosystems strive to outcompete each other, leading to a more dynamic and competitive global tech landscape. China's quest for semiconductor independence is a defining story of our time. It is a story about technological innovation, economic competition and the shifting balance of global power. It is a story that will shape the future of the world we live in. As China continues its march toward technological self-reliance, the world watches with a mix of anticipation and apprehension. Will China succeed in its ambition to become a global semiconductor powerhouse? What will be the implications for the global economy, the tech industry and the geopolitical order? These are not just abstract questions. They are questions that will have real-world consequences for all of us. It is up to us to understand the stakes, engage in informed debate and shape the future of this critical technology. The future is not something that happens to us, it is something we create.
Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries. Oh,